There's many, many ways that we can serve Creator in this time, and they're all good, and they're all going to add to the tsunami of change that is going to overtake this country in the coming days, weeks, months, and years. So everything you do is important, and everything you try is worth it. And so keep blowing on the embers of this movement. Keep doing it. Don't for a second think that your actions, like this one today, is not important. We, every blow on this ember counts. And as we keep blowing, we see the flames rising higher and higher for justice, for peace. And we see that we can create the difference that we want to see in this land, this sacred, holy land. And so I'll just conclude by saying that in this time, we have great ability to shift things. If a slave master had a thousand slaves, what would he want to do? He'd want them all to think that they are isolated from each other. He wouldn't want one slave to know that there's 999 others in the same position. He would want them to feel isolated. He would want them to feel powerless because he knows the moment those 1,000 slaves get together is the moment his whole operation crumbles and goes down. Yeah. And that is what we are doing with the No Dapple movement and many other movements, is we are seeing how many cities across this country, like Seattle, for example. Good job, Seattle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Care about indigenous rights. How many cities care about the sanctity of water, the protection of water? How many cities care about transitioning in a just manner to renewable energies and breaking our addiction and enslavement to oil? And so we are really seeing these 1,000 slaves get together. And this is why they're making such drastic moves to stop us, because they're scared. And we must keep uh, walking in prayer towards that slave master in a loving, yet determined manner and say we love you dear brother but we will not comply mm -hmm. thank you yeah.